one guys, it's Deathmonk here. Today we're going to be talking about some rather interesting information concerning Fortnite Chapter 3. Now, uh, for those who don't know guys, uh, the Spider-Man web shooters should be coming within the next 24 hours, so we understand. Um, basically, for those who don't know how to get these, uh, you do need a minimum of 400 gold uh, per web shooter. Um, and these can be obtained from one of three locations on the Fortnite map. Now, for chapter three season long, players, excuse me, for chapter three season one, players can unlock the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man via the battle pass. However, everyone can use his web slinging abilities if they find them on the island. Now, Spider-Man's web shooters aren't in Fortnite just yet. However, they are due to be released in just, uh, actually today or tomorrow. What's going on guys, it's Deathmonk here. Today we're going to be talking about the Spider-Man web shooters in Fortnite Chapter 3, plus a few other pieces of interesting information concerning Fortnite Chapter 3. Now, Spider-Man was swung his way to Fortnite Chapter 3, and here's how we can harness the power of its web shooters. Now, for Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 1, players can unlock the friendly neighbourhood Spider-Man via the Battle Pass. However, everyone can use his web sling abilities if they find them on the island. Sadly, Spider-Man's web shooters aren't in Fortnite just yet. They're due to be released tomorrow, on December the 11th. However, we already know where players will be able to find them. Thanks to a goof on Epic Games' end, the web shooters were enabled in arena mode for a few hours after the Chapter 3 launch. Spider-Man's web shooters will be sold by three different NPCs. These include Guaco, a greasy grove, inside the uh, Tackle restaurant, a Cuddle team leader at Camp Cuddle, which is a big large house at Camp Cuddle there, and Bunker Jonesy at the Joneses POI. A Mary Chain NPC will also sell the web shooters likely at the Jelly Bugle in Spider-Man's hometown. You can purchase these web shooters for 400 gold pars each, and they have an unlimited number of uses. Below is a map with each of the NPCs that sells the Spider-Man web shooters in Fortnite. So this is where these three can be located if you are struggling. While you wait for their release, there's still plenty of new things to discover in Fortnite Chapter 3. Try a hand at opening a vault at, at those um, I.O. locations, or grind the levels of the Battle Pass to unlock Spider-Man. Which is what I did to unlock him. Um, so that's really interesting there. Now, Donald Mustard, who is the creative chief, of, sorry, chief creative officer at Epic Games, the one who develops the storyline for Fortnite, actually attended the Game Awards with his best friend ever, his oldest son, an avid gamer ever since he held the controller at age two, and beyond excited to sit next to him at the show tomorrow night. So, which so that's what exactly happened last night, guys. Um, and to be honest with you, I think going from the information that was available to me, uh, he was actually nominated and won the award for best ongoing game. The other combatants were Apex Legends, Call of Duty Wars on Final Fantasy. 14, is that right? Online and Genshin Impact. Fortnite won on all costs there, so proud of them for that. And, that's, and then he went on to say, This year we saved the Zero Point, danced with Ariana Grande, fought off an invasion, exploded a mothership, flipped the island. And then chapter three. Spider-Man, or Spidey, Sloan, Master Chief, Jones, Wonder Woman, etc. So many items, features and more if you love Fortnite 2 vote there. So they have obviously won the award for those who didn't see that uh, last night. So congrats to them for that. Um, also, during the actual event, there was actually some interesting teasers within other known um, films and video games. One of which included Spider-Man No Way Home, which is the brand new movie. And this could mean nothing but Epic did say there's more Spider-Man skins coming this season. And how do we know this? Uh, if you looked during the uh, clip from Spider-Man No Way Home, you can actually make out, if you look on the right-hand side, the word Fortnite. So that was clearly an interesting teaser between Spider-Man and Fortnite collabing together. So that's really cool. Uh, we've also got uh, other interesting images here. Now, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this actually came from a, another movie called Matrix Awakens. So, we've got uh, two different images, from what I understand. First one is the Fortnite Llama, can actually be found uh, in the free roam section of the Matrix Awakens Unreal Engine 5 experience. And there's actually, as you guys can see, there's a model llama there, and on the board it reads, 
these small buildings can you find the tallest? Now, even though the uh, plaque at the very bottom there may not make much sense to most people, the llama certainly does. Uh, obviously, that's the current symbolic um, item for Fortnite, if that makes sense. So that's really interesting. Uh, I think we've got a second image here, um, and this was also near the water of the city, which reads, The city contains over 7 million instanced assets and more than a few llamas. So obviously that's a, a clear reference to Fortnite as well. And they're definitely clearly changing something when um, the movie fully drops for that. So I can't wait to check that out, guys. Uh, here's another sh uh, shot of that uh, image I mentioned there. I want to give a big massive shout to uh, Happy Power, who actually managed to find this on behalf of Video Game Deals. I've actually got another one. It actually does say, where did my friend go? So that clearly, potentially, to most people, it probably wouldn't be a reference to Fortnite, but um, it could, it could clearly you see there's definitely a llama there on the image. So that again is another reference to Fortnite. Now a reminder that Fortnite X The Matrix should still be happening, and it has an imaginated, and I can't speak now, an animated digital rain wrap. Left image, it's just this one right here, is the Matrix game trailer, which I'll just show you on screen. You can see all these um, different characters uh, going from top to bottom. Uh, and this, and that's like the wrap. Apparently that's from the uh, in-game trailer, which is a cl cl um, symbolic reference to the Matrix. This other image is taken from the a wrap texture, apparently. And as you guys can see, if we put these two images together, you can see Lord, oh, the majority of these characters actually do match. I couldn't tell you exactly which one's going from photographic memory, but um, if I manage to find any guys, I'll put them on screen right now. But um, So that's really interesting there, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments box down below. So that's interesting. Uh, Hypex um, actually been on Twitter. He actually did put up a rather interesting article here. Things bring back crafting with more ideas like Season 6. Also had these ideas in mind recently for public matches. So what we've got here is the bandage bazooka with uh, slurp mushrooms to make a slurp bazooka. Which I think would make a lot of sense. And then maybe uh, the chug splashes with six um, chilli peppers to make the chilli chug splash. Makes perfect sense, right? Uh, I would love to, I'd like to see that in game. I think that would make a lot more sense. Um, I didn't quite like the um, crafting when it comes to the previous season, Chapter 2, Season 8. But um, I, can, I, I think that's a really good idea, to be quite honest with you. Let me know what your thoughts in the comments box down below. Now, Shai, Sheena? Or Shina? I never know how to pronounce his name. But um, if these Spider-Man posters can be found in game, actually tease anything, which he thinks they do, we could be getting the Tobey Maguire version of Spider-Man very soon. So this was first noticed by Visitor BR and Stop Mr. Domino on Twitter. So let's talk a, take a look at this rather interesting um, foot piece of footage. As you can see, that's the original image. If we brighten it up, you can make out Spider-Man crawling up the side of a skyscraper. So that's, this could potentially be um, the case that Tommy Maguire may be collaborating with Fortnite. Um, I want to know what your thoughts are. Uh, would you like to see Tommy Maguire potentially come to uh, Tommy Maguire's Spider-Man come to Fortnite? Or would you like to see Miles Morales? Which I think is another leaked um, skin, but we'll have to wait and see. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments box down below in regards to that. Um, I think we've also got a few more things I want to carry, um, talk to you guys about. Now, for those of you who don't know, currently in the item shop at the present moment, at the time I've gone this video, they are the Marcus Phoenix and Kate Diaz from the um, revolutionary game. Goes by the name of... Was it? I was going to say God of War, but I don't think that's correct. Is it? Gears of War. Beg your pardon. Gears of War. Characters Marcus Phoenix and Kate Diaz are now currently in the item shop with all these rather interesting items, including obviously the skins themselves. I've also got um, different, I think that's probably a back bling. I've also got a pickaxe, a back, another back bling there, glider, a couple more harvesting tools. 
Nice to see that. A few sprays. I think it's just the one spray. I think they're all the identical. Um, I've also got the uh, other spray that you can complete from completing the five uh, in-game challenges. Uh, I actually managed to do that, no problem. I think those ones were fairly straightforward. Uh, according to according to I Fire Monkey and his Epic Games support agent, a fix will be introduced in an upcoming update to give players crew pack rewards they earned but never got such as the flipped banner icon, as we can see below. So as you guys can see, we've got like the two arrows obviously represent the word represent flipping, and of course I've got the two islands, uh, one on top of the other, both mirroring each other. So that's interesting. Uh, Marshmallow, believe it or not, guys, will be returning to the item December item shop on December the fourteenth with his newest variant. Now, um, I think we've currently got the white, like the white version of Marshmallow, but we never had the black and gold. Uh, this was leaked for quite a while, guys. So it looks like uh, a new style for Marshmallow will be coming to the item shop on December the fourteenth, which is in four days' time. Something um, we've also got a potentially a few returning transport um, leaks coming to Fortnite uh, in the near, very near future. So it looks like choppers will potentially be returning, as these were found or added in the up in the version nineteen game files, um, which I'm quite happy about, I suppose. Um, this may and the next one probably may split the community a little bit. It looks like the X4 Stormwing has also been updated in version 19. Um, I'm particularly happy about the choppers. I'm not particularly keen about the Stormwing unless Air Royale returns, the LTM where we get to fly around and take other people out using the uh, Stormwing. Uh, hoping that returns. Um, if the Stormwing's returning for the Air Royale mode or the LTM Air Royale, I'll be happy with it. If it's used for like public matches, probably not. But I want to know what your thoughts are. Please do let me know in the comments box down below. Hope everyone's um, all hyped up for the all the items that's coming over the Christmas period, including Star Wars, including marshmallows I just mentioned, including various other bits and pieces. Let me know in the comments box down below. Drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Hit the notification bell to stop us and upload. Use my support grade code in the item shop, deathmonk 992 and hit it on the screen in the description. It disappears every two weeks. Make sure you keep... Until the next episode. Peace out.